I mean, I mean, this is what women's basketball is always been about. Um, and so it's really exciting that everyone is tuning in, especially in the league. I think it's really great that fans are following their favorite players from college into the league because that's how we have it continue to grow. A couple extra scientists here since that game. What have you felt has been the most progress here these last couple days? Um, definitely our defense. I think that was some things that we focused on, our rotations, but also just being able to execute, especially in half court. What do you What do you appreciate about the team right now? What do you like about the team? Everything. I, the way that we're able to play, the way that we go, I think you guys saw, especially at the beginning of that game, when we play fast, when we play together, when we move that ball, what good comes out of it. And so it's been really good to just get that feel. Aaliyah, from a charter standpoint, how much are you thinking too about your body and rest and the time you won't spend under a blanket at the end? Yeah, I mean, that's exactly it. You know, you play your game, you get back on that plane, and you get to sleep in your own bed. That's really what, you know, we've been used to in college. So coming here and making that change to you is going to be great for us. How long is yeah. this over here for you? It's long, but I think the beauty of this is that everything doesn't happen overnight. And so it's happening, and I feel like we should focus on that. Um, even though it could have taken a while, a lot longer than people expected, but it's happening, and so let's just continue to be grateful. What problem? Did you have a good travel horror story from last year? No. No, it wasn't no. that bad? No. I, w I sleep on planes. I get my miles. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no more miles now, right? Well, listen, I don't know. I guess I got to book some extra flights. <laughs> How awesome. awesome. In terms of the pace and trying to establish that, what are the factors that kind of go into that and reestablish it? Yeah, I mean, we want to play fast, and playing fast, I mean, sometimes there's things where you might miss that initially, but I think just being able to do that, continue to be in that routine of playing fast, you understand where each other is going, you understand the press that we have to make, and so, I mean, we're just adjusting each and every day. How much do the game increase that kind of chemistry though, when you're trying to set that chemistry? Oh, I mean, it, it definitely it definitely can change a little bit depending on how teams play. I mean, some teams might be overly aggressive, some teams might not be, and so they let you be a little bit more free-flowing, especially offensively. So it's really just about who you're playing, when you're playing, and you know how to execute. You know, anytime you get to play in front of your home environment, don't have to travel, um, it just makes things a little bit better. And obviously, it's my first time out here. Played in this arena before, but it will obviously be a little bit different, you know, wearing a fever uniform. So more than anything, I'm just get excited to get out there and, and run for the first time. And it was early. Well, what do you appreciate the most about your teammates in this early run here with the feet? Yeah, I think everybody's just, you know, positive attitude. I think acceptance, too. Like, you can really tell that everybody just wants the best for each other, no matter, you know, how many minutes you play, no matter what your role is going to be on this team. I think everybody's just motivated to have a really successful season. Um, just wants the best. I think, you know, that starts with the coaching staff and building a really good culture, getting the right people in the locker room. Um, you know, Lynn's done a great job doing that. Chrissy's done a great job doing that. So I would say, like, that's the biggest thing is, like, just everybody's competitive spirit, um, but also like, supportiveness at the same time. You had a chance to play a game and have a couple of practices after that. Can you find a routine yet, or does that take some time because this is a different, just a whole different sequence for you? Yeah, I think it's hard to kind of find my routine still. I think. Um, you'll kind of get the flow of it as you travel a little more and, and come back home and things like that. But, um, yeah, I don't really know what my routine will be, obviously, because I haven't really played at home yet. So I think just, you know, continuing to feel it out and see how things are going to go. But that's the great thing about playing two preseason games. You get to test it out, see what works for you, see what doesn't work, and, you know, go from there. And you finally get in charter flights. What does that mean yeah. to you? Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm just super excited. I'm happy for the players that have been in this league a really long time. And, you know, have really deserved this for years and years and years. So um, I guess I'm just excited. I'm thankful um, at whatever point that is that it happens and occurs. Um, it'll be great for us. It'll, you know, make recovery easier, make travel easier. Um, yeah, it just makes life a lot easier for a lot of people, but also it's just something that a lot of people have deserved, you know, for years and years now. So um, I'm just very fortunate to come to this league and, you know, have that opportunity the first year I'm here. Can you describe what it's like being you trying to go through a normal airport? Yeah, I mean, Honestly, like, I didn't have, like, a ton of problems traveling throughout, you know, the last time when we went to Dallas, but I think you just have to be aware of, you know, where you are, and, you know, we travel with security, which is nice, and um, it's just different, obviously, from college. Like, you go, like, you can just put your bag on the plane and hop on the plane, and then you're off, but, like, you're waiting at baggage claim. You, you got to go through the normal security with everybody else, so um, I think it's a different process, and for me, it was, like, my first time doing it, so I kind of was just going with the flow and navigating as I would, but... I think the Fever did a great job of being fully prepared. We kind of went the route of having more security that we can tone it back as we need to. But um, yeah, it wasn't terrible. I just, you know, move about my business, keep my head down and make it do. You'll, you'll lose your travel miles. I, that's what we said in the locker room. I was like, oh, those airline miles, no free trips anymore. So the girls were bummed about that. But I was like, oh, it's a good problem to have though. You're about 10 days in with this full group. Where have you seen the most progress over this week and a half? 
honestly, I think there's been progress everywhere. I think just getting comfortable playing with each other is the biggest thing. Like, you know, obviously we're young still, Aaliyah, me, whoever it is. I think just getting comfortable being on the court together, um, you know, putting in a bunch of stuff every single day. you got to learn fast. Um, but other than that, I think just getting back into basketball shape, like, you know, you can only do so much running and being in condition, but like playing basketball is the best way to be in basketball shape. So I think that's the biggest thing is like we've been getting up and down, we've been competing hard. Um, and that's going to, you know, prepare us for next week as well. Did you feel that after that first game, the physicality of playing 40 minutes? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like I wasn't like extremely sore, you know, anything different than I was in college. I think it's definitely physicality, like, but I think it's very similar to the international game at the same time. Like, I have experience playing with USA basketball. Like, it's just called a little differently. It's just wrecked a little differently. People are more physical. That's what you can get away with. But it wasn't anything I didn't expect by any means. You know these fans here, they know basketball. Mm -hmm. You know how much they want to support you and this team from just in the draft night. Mm -hmm. um, what do you take on just being here, to getting ready to play tomorrow in such a packed house um, yeah. in front of these special fans here? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I'm expecting a lot of people to be here. I'm expecting it to be loud. I'm expecting the fans to be, like, really in it. Like, I, I know these fans are fans that are going to show up and, like, they know what's going to be going on on the court. I think, you know, sometimes you can show up to arenas and, like, they're just sitting there. But, like, when I was in college, like, they're invested. They know what's going on. I think it's the same thing with the state of Indiana and the people that support the Fever, support the Pacers, like, they're invested into basketball. They understand what's happening. They want to support women's basketball. So they're going to cheer. They're going to get after the rest. Um, you know, it's going to be fun. So um, that's what makes it more enjoyable as a player, too, is like having those crowds to feed off, especially when you're at home. Like that gives you a different added boost, added energy. And I know it's just a preseason game, but it's still so much fun for us to get to enjoy this experience. The other night, you got to see Peyton again. Did he help? How has he helped, if at all, yeah. about your transition coming to Indy, being a face of the team? Yeah, I think Peyton's always just been a really good resource. Even before I honestly declared for, you know, the WNBA draft, like he was always somebody that, you know, I could lean on and very supportive of the women's back game. Um, but then obviously coming to Indianapolis, like he couldn't be more thrilled for me. I was honestly talking to him about Italian restaurants. I'm like, is there any good Italian restaurants around? And he, said, he texts me the next day. I haven't tried any. I honestly don't even know the ones he recommended. But um, so that's honestly what we were talking about. But I know he's just, he's just really excited and um, he's always supported this organization um, since back when Tamika was here. So um, hopefully he'll be at a few games. But, um, you know, I think not only does he like talk about supporting women's sports, but obviously women's basketball, like he really obviously invests in it, obviously with his production company and what they're doing too. Worst impressions of the ESPN project now that you saw the first hour there on Monday night? Well, I've seen all of it, so it's really good. I think people are going to love it. Um, ABC on, you know, May 11th, I think you, you couldn't ask for a better stage to showcase that documentary. And uh, it gives a, a really good glimpse into, you know, our lives, our programs, our families' lives. Um, and it's interesting. It's, it's, it's really well done. And obviously they kind of had to rush to put that together. And usually you get a couple years to make a documentary like that. But because of the quick turnaround with, you know, obviously they're going to try for season two, but also our season ended. So being able to put that together, I think they did a tremendous job. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see the rest. There was a couple pieces that they had changed that I really liked. So um, I recommend everybody watch it. It's, it's pretty great. Now that you've been here for almost three or four weeks now mm -hmm. and so much praise about you during the press conference and blew people away, uh, what has it been like for you as far as just the support you've received here from these fans and just been on the streets in downtown Indianapolis? Yeah, people definitely know who I am. Um, <laughs> so I think that's that's been a little difficult. Sometimes it's hard to go out and do what I want to do, but at the same time, like I wouldn't want it any other way. Like That's the best way to help grow women's basketball. Um, it's the best way to get these fans excited about um, what we're going to do here. So. I think, you know, people are just ex excited as we are to play here tomorrow. Um, so I think more than anything, just enjoy it, soak it in. I think everybody else is just as excited as I am. The coaching staff is excited. I mean, we played on the road and we were in soaking in that experience, whether half the people were cheering for us, that a lot of them were cheering against us. But, you know, having a sold out crowd like that, like that's not for anything that gets old. And whether it's sold out tomorrow or the rest of the season, I know no matter what, there's going to be a ton of people in here supporting us. So. When you're signing autographs after games, and now you see like your first game will be on Disney Plus, which opens yeah. opens everything up to probably young girls, more kids in that audience. How much do you think about maybe the little you watching Maya or whomever growing up and, and now this being exposed to a whole new audience? Yeah, I saw that it was on Disney Plus. I think it's the first live streamed event of any kind, at least sporting event. So that's pretty cool and obviously a lot of my my fans are young girls and young boys um and a lot of women's basketball fans are young girls that are you know inspired to want to be like us one day so i think it's a it's a great resource to you know show our game show our platform and i hope they continue to put games on there not only the fever games but 
across the board, the WNBA, you know, getting to play on different platforms that different people can, you know, see, I think is going to be huge for our league. And, um, yeah, I mean, that was always a resource that I wanted to have when I was growing up, you know, whether it was watching on ESPN, whether it was going in person, um, I always wanted to be around the game. So, you know, the more ways we can connect with our fans, I think it's going to help the league grow. Can you feel the energy you. in the city right now with Pacers and the race coming up? And you Absolutely. Guys feed I'm super all. excited. I'm going to the game on Friday. I'll be over there <laughs> cheering. So I think, you know, it's a great time, you know, for the city of Indianapolis. I think, you know, the hype around, you know, Fever, the Pacers, you know, whatever it is, um, you know, two really great organizations that are really investing and wanting to make it really good. And I've been following the Pacers all year long. So getting to see what they've been doing is pretty special. Hopefully they can, you know, steal one in New York before they come back here. And then I know this place will be rocking. Are you excited to play in this building tomorrow night? Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, it's been fun just seeing all the Pacers games going on here, so it'll be fun for us to get here. Uh, what about the uh, the chemistry that you start building with the team? Obviously, there's several new players, and you're, you yourself among them. How would you describe these last couple weeks for yourself? Um, it's been great. It's been a really good training camp so far. We've really been able to play and get to know each other as players, but also as people. And so um, I think we've just done a good job of like everyone meshing together and uh, I feel like we're playing really good right now. What do you think that the team needs to make progress on before that first real game, the ones that matter mm -hmm. early in the season? Yeah, I think we just need to make sure we establish how we want to play. Uh, we want to make sure we play with pace and uh, we want to be consistent and we want to have consistency throughout every single game, not necessarily making shots, putting it all on one player, but we want to be consistent in having people step up, having people play their role and just being as good as we can as a unit. How frustrating was it the other night not to play, and are you good to go, hoping to play tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I'm planning to play tomorrow. Um, it's definitely frustrated. It's been a while since I've been able to play in a game, so I'm excited and can't wait till we play tomorrow. What's the challenge for you and the team in terms of establishing pace, getting to know each other's chemistries, and, and all those sorts of things and on the run? Yeah, I mean, a big thing is just, you know, making sure we work on it every single drill, every single day. You know, we just want to get in shape first off, but also know that we have people who want to push the pace. And so we got to make sure that we're there in our spots, get to the right the right spots on the court and just be there for the spacing. Um, I think we've done a good job at that. You know, we had a day that we probably needed to pick it up a little bit more and we bounced back great. And since then it's been, it's been awesome. And so um, I think we have such a good unit that really wants to win, really wants to learn. And um, it's easy to be to pick each other up from those down moments. You're used to travel and charter with mm -hmm. college and everything. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction to to this news coming up? Yeah, I think it's great. I think I think it's you know well deserved. I think um, you know shout out to the league for getting it done, and um, you know I hope we continue to grow. Um, I can't wait however many years down the line, and we can be the ones that are like you know back when we played, we flew commercial flights. So like this is just a really really good moment for us for our league. Um, and like I said, I hope we continue to push forward. Tell us, this is your season after recently having a baby. Mm -hmm. How is it balancing motherhood, first time motherhood, um, and, and, and still chasing your dreams? It's been awesome. It was definitely a challenge to get back to where I wanted to be. Um, coming back it was probably one of the hardest things I've done. Um, but every single day, it's so worth it. It's, it's definitely a good perspective coming into training camp this year. Like, I finished practice and... I got to go home and I get to hang out with my baby girl and like there's nothing better in the world than that. And so just doing this every single day, I hope she is able to continue to see me, continue to see all these powerful women around her. I think it's really special. What, what is your message to the other women um, playing ball and just making that difficult decision to say, like, I want this and I want that? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you can do anything you want to do, especially women. We go through so many different things, and um, I think it's been empowering to become a mother and to still be a basketball player, WNBA player, because I had to decide that this is something that I wanted to do specifically. I wanted to get back on the court for myself. Um, I wanted to be here to be able to play in this arena um, tomorrow night, and so I'm very proud of myself, and I know for other women around the world, like, you can do anything. Looking forward to seeing this place packed out tomorrow night. So excited. You know, we left here on a good note last year, the last time. Uh, left on a win, last game of the season. I'm just really excited for what, uh, just really, really wanting the fans to see how hard we've been working and what we're going to be the hardest working team on the court. For sure. What do you think that hard work has, has produced so far? I mean, you've had a couple weeks, had a couple practice. Have you seen specific growth for this team so far? Yes, for sure. I mean, you, you had five days to get ready for a game, and it was kind of like a WNBA Finals in, environment, right, with uh, with the sold-out crowd. But, you know, they handled it well, and those kind of games are going to get us ready for next Tuesday.
What are your thoughts on traveling uh, charters now? How, how does that change everything in your group? Yeah, I mean, change in a great way, right? I mean, it is incredible. Um, I just sent a message out to the players last night when the news hit. Just this is this is what they deserve. They deserve this, and it changes everything. It changes their rest. It changes their rehab. It changes they you know instead of getting up at like early in the morning to get back here, now we have to practice at four o'clock, five o'clock in the evening. It changes everything for them. So just excited for them, and, and they deserve this. Uh, real quick, do you do you have a good horror story, travel horror story that, that you know, from the old days? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, with the commercial. <laughs> Yeah, there was a time where we, uh, our flight was delayed, 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 canceled. We slept in the, we slept in the airport for a 6 a.m. flight the next morning. That was when I was with the, the Chicago Scott. That was, that was a fun one. And then played the next day. So. And what, what, what airport was? It? Oh gosh, I don't, I don't remember. I'm sorry. They all run together. Yeah, and I was trying to block that one out. <laughs> sorry, coach. I know it's early in the season, but when you hear about, and we're talking about preseason game possibly sold out. How do you put that into perspective, just how far the women's game, or just any basketball game has come when you think about a chance to have a sell for preseason games? It's great for our game. It's great for our league. Um, it's great for these these players. Um, but that was kind of the one thing that I've been just trying to preach since, since day one of training camp. Like, we can't get ahead of ourselves. Like, we're going to figure out rotations. We're going to play different lineups. Like, that's what preseason games are for. So that's what we did against Dallas. You know, we've got to see all of them that are out here. So the game tomorrow, it'll be the same. A few tweaks, like we're gonna, you know, we'll play differently than we did against Dallas, but as long as you're, if you're in, you play as hard as you can and do the best that you can, um, and, and the outcome will be what it is, we're planning for Tuesday against Connecticut. What do you appreciate the most about Caitlin right now? I mean, she's so humble, it seems like, and just her teammates have a lot of respect for her, but what do you appreciate about this star player? She wants to do whatever that she needs to do for our team to win, and she says it. She's a hell of a competitor. Um, and she wants to win every drill, which I love, but just the way she distributes the basketball. Like for me, that's been, I mean, and the players, like they, to hear them talk about it, like that's, that's what's exciting. How have you seen KD Lou come in after a year off last year and come in and kind of adjust to playing again and being with this team? Yeah, I thought, I didn't know what we were gonna have to do with her when she hurt herself in warmups the other day and she didn't get to play because she was so ready. She was so excited. She's just trying to get back, you know, to where she was a couple years ago. She was feeling good. And so um, she was hurt. She was hurt, but she's done everything she needed to do to get back for tomorrow.